Moving on to more discussions around astrology. You may in an astrology, you may be on an astrology app and you'll hear that Mercury is going retrograde. What does that mean? Mercury going retrograde. Oh no, Mercury's going retrograde, everybody. Okay. It's basically where the way that the planets align, it slows down. It's like slows down and then it occurs as if Mercury is going backwards. So even in my muscular sense of what I'm showing you, you can see tension. So that basically means when Mercury is going retrograde, things might be a little bit more challenging, which is what? Your signs of benefit, equivalent benefits. So you're probably going to be dealing with some, some movement of energy. Now, anytime a, the moon is in Taurus, or the moon is in Gemini, or the moon is in Libra, because we rotate it, right? You rotate the moon. You are experiencing a heightened version of said sign. Think about it. It has to do with the numbers. It has to do with the emotion, if it's in Taurus. And when you're dealing with your cancer, or excuse me, I'm a cancer moon, so when you're dealing with your moon sign, you're dealing with internal emotions on how you see yourself. So I'm hoping what I'm painting a picture of is when you're dealing with astrology, it's a bigger picture than just your sun sign, but you're dealing with the moon, the moon sign, the north and south nodes, your rising sign, which is your, um, your journey path. Right? And I like to like paint, like paint it like sun, moon, rising, nodes, because it just makes more sense. And then all of that goes into play in your lifetime and how you're interacting with people. So astrology is not just mumbo jumbo, it is a science. It's not just a psychic reading. It's a science. And in the next video, I'll go into a little bit more on the effectiveness of paying attention to astrology.